Alright, this summer, there's gonna be gamers trying to build good gaming setups without breaking the bank. Well, what's up guys, Prada J here, and I'll present to you the ultimate $500 gaming setup of 2023. And just for a disclaimer, there is no PC in this build as it's all about the gear, which you will get a desk, monitor, chair, webcam, microphone, headphones, a keyboard and mouse, and then finally, a mouse pad. Now to start off, we need a sturdy quality desk with plenty of space for our equipment and possible future upgrades, which is why I picked out this 39 inch white IKEA lemon desk which is currently going for about $50 on the IKEA website. Now one of the great things about IKEA furniture is its customizability, allowing you to mix and match different pieces and parts as you upgrade your setup. For example, if you wanted a bigger workspace, you could easily swap out the 39 inch tabletop for a larger size or even a different model. Which, as a dimensions, this desk has a length of 39 inches, a width of 23 inches, and a height of 29 inches, with a max load of 110 pounds or 50 kilograms. So, with all that in mind, you're getting a highly customizable desk with plenty of space for a monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and additional room for other equipment and possible future upgrades. But overall, this desk is a great value because of its low cost and versatility it provides for customizing the setup. Now let's talk about the most important part of our setup, the monitor, as we'll need a good one that can handle gaming, browsing, and watching videos. Plus in terms of size, as size does matter in this case, I usually recommend a monitor that's 24 inches or larger as it's usually the sweet spot for most people. So for this setup, I chose a Karoo 24 inch monitor which is currently going for about $110 at the time of this video. Now this monitor has some great specs as it features a VA panel which gives better contrast than IPS and TN panels, it has a resolution of 1080p, a fast one millisecond response time and a refresh rate of 165 hertz when connected through DisplayPort. Not to mention that it's compatible with both AMD FreeSync and Nvidia G-Sync graphics cards. And then for connectivity inputs, it has two HDMI 1.4 ports, a DisplayPort, and a headphone out port. And if you do prefer to use a stand, you'll be happy to know that it is base amount compatible. Now, for a price tag of $110, we're getting insane value as this monitor offers specs that are usually found in more expensive models. So we definitely got a solid monitor for starting out. And just a quick side note, I'll be sure to add alternative links down below just in case the price or stock changes for the worst. Moving on, comfort is going to be a top priority, especially if you plan on spending long hours at your desk for gaming, streaming, or even work projects. That's why I recommend the Firmax Mesh Office Chair priced at $40. Now, while it is impossible to guarantee comfort for everyone without personally trying the chair, it has received a solid 4 out of 5 star rating from over 55,000 reviews, making it a decent option for its value. The chair also features a 265 pound or 120 kilogram weight limit, lumbar support from the wingback design, tilts up to 130 30 degrees, adjustable seat height, and comes in multiple color options to match your setup. Now, the reason I chose a mesh chair instead of a gaming or leather chair is because mesh chairs are more breathable, which can be important if you're at your desk for a long time, as the mesh material can help prevent sweating unlike leather. Plus, mesh chairs are often less expensive than gaming chairs, making them a budget-friendly option. But overall, the Firmax office chair delivers good value, however, like any chair, the level of comfort may vary depending on personal preference. Up next, for those who plan on showing their face while streaming, recording, or video calling, a quality webcam is a must-have, which is why I recommend the Anchor C200 webcam going for about $60 right now on Amazon. Now, this webcam stands out from the rest in its price range because it records in 2K resolution at 30 frames per second, while in contrast, the widely recognized Logitech C920 records at 1080p 30fps. Additionally, the C200 offers a highly adjustable field of view with options for 65, 78, and 95 degrees at the max, so you can choose exactly how much of your background is captured. Plus, the built-in privacy cover ensures your privacy when not in use. And when it comes to the build, the webcam is made of a durable plastic and attaches easily to your screen with a rubber clamp so it won't scratch. But if you want to mount the webcam on a tripod, you can do that with a quarter inch thread on the bottom to mount it. Plus, thanks to its larger aperture, the webcam does pretty well in low light conditions, capturing more light to ensure you look bright even in dim settings. Now, I do want to note that this webcam features dual microphones on the front which are capable of switching from omnidirectional to directional pickup patterns. But if you truly care about sound quality, I would highly recommend using a standalone mic for the setup. And if you're still unsure about this webcam, I'll be sure to link some review videos in the description so you can see the quality of the webcam for yourself. Speaking of sound quality, a solid microphone is essential for streamers, YouTubers,
YouTubers or anyone looking to improve their sound quality. That's why I highly recommend the Audio Technica AT2020 USB Plus at a price point of $60. This USB mic delivers exceptional audio quality with its large diaphragm condenser, providing clear and detailed sound with a frequency response of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. And compared to the Blue Snowball, the AT2020 provides a fuller and clearer sound, which to hear the difference for yourself, I'll leave a mic test and comparison video in the description. The microphone also comes with a tripod desk stand and pivoting stand mount that allows for flexible positioning, giving you the freedom to place it wherever you need it. However, while the included tripod stand is helpful, I highly recommend getting a microphone arm to reduce the chances of vibrations caused by accidental bumps or mouse movements in general. And with its cardioid pickup pattern, the AT2020 USB Plus isolates the sound source and minimizes background noise, making it ideal for recording vocals, podcasts, and streaming. Additionally, the microphone has a headphone jack that allows you to listen to yourself and in real time while you record, making it easier to monitor your recording. But overall, the AT2020 USB Plus is a fantastic choice for anyone who wants a high quality microphone that's easy to use and won't break the bank. Now to go along with the Audio-Technica microphone, I've included the Audio-Technica ATH-M20X headphones at just $50. Now these headphones are budget friendly and well liked for their accurate sound and comfortable fit. They have 40mm drivers which deliver clear mids and balanced highs, perfect for video editing and mixing. Now while they don't focus too much on bass, they provide precise audio for careful listening. And these headphones are made specifically for audio professionals who need accurate sound reproduction. Now one thing to note is that the cord is quite long at about 10 10 feet or 3 meters and cannot be removed. Now, while this may be inconvenient for some, it does allow for flexibility while editing or mixing audio. The headphones also come with a 1 4 inch gold plated adapter for connecting to an audio interface and a 1 8 inch adapter for use with smartphones, laptops, and other devices. But overall, the M20X headphones offer accurate audio, a comfortable fit, and useful accessories. Now, as we near the end of the setup build, we need a budget friendly keyboard that offers reliability and high modability. That's why I recommend the Royal Clutch RK68 going for just $50 as it ticks all the boxes. This keyboard features hot swappable switches in red, brown, and blue options with support for both 3-pin and 5-pin switches allowing for easy customization. Additionally, you can get the board in either black or white color options to match your setup style. Now I opted for the RK68 in its 65% layout over the popular RK61 60% keyboard because it maintains a compact size while retaining the essential function keys like the delete and the arrow keys, making it ideal for gamers, video editors, or just anyone who needs quick access to navigation and editing functions. The RK68 also includes software for RGB lighting customization, macros, and other settings to suit your preferences. Which one of the best things about the RK68 is its modability, as there are plenty of modding videos that showcase various ways to customize and upgrade this keyboard to make it your own. Which if you are interested in exploring modding options, I highly recommend checking out Consumer Tech Review's step-by-step -step modding guide, as it's really relevant made so I'll be sure to leave a link to his video down below. However, if you do prefer the RK61, I've included a link to it down below as well. But overall, the RK68 at just $50 is the perfect budget friendly option for anyone seeking a highly customizable keyboard with great value. When it comes to finding a good mouse, there are several factors to consider such as weight, accuracy, and customization options. And that's exactly what the Razer Viper offers at a price of $50. It features an impressive 8000 hertz polling rate that'll provide you a smoother and more responsive cursor movements perfect for fast paced gaming. The Viper also features a powerful optical sensor that can reach a maximum DPI of 20,000. But keep in mind that 20,000 DPI is excessive as most people usually prefer a DPI from 400 to 2,000, but the sensor still provides accurate tracking. Also, the Viper is fairly lightweight at just 71 grams and features a flexible speed flex cable for quick and fluid movements. Not to mention that it includes 8 programmable buttons that can be customized using the Razer Synapse software. I also want to mention Mentioned that the mouse does have an ambidextrous shape, so it's suitable for both left and right handed users. But overall, it's a fantastic gaming mouse that offers premium features at an affordable price. But suppose you have smaller hands. Well, you may want to consider getting the Razer Viper Mini, which is 10 grams lighter. So if you're interested in either mouse, I'll be sure to link both of them down below. And now, to complete our $500 budget setup, a reliable mousepad is essential as it can make a huge difference in your setup, improving accuracy and adding a touch of style. For this purpose, I recommend the Glorious Extended Mousepad priced at just $20. It has a non-slip rubber base to keep the pad in place, offering a smooth cloth surface for fast movement and precise control. Not to mention that its large size gives you plenty of room to move your mouse around, covering a good size of the IKEA desk that I recommended earlier. And while it does come in black and white options, there's also a 
stealth option available for those who prefer a minimal logo design. However, if you're not concerned about specific brands and prefer a logo-free mousepad, I made sure to include several alternatives in the description priced around $20 or less, which I made sure to add various options to ensure that most of you will find a mousepad that suits your taste without breaking the bank. So whether you prefer simplicity or a unique design, your mousepad choice will be the perfect finishing touch for your setup. And now adding up the prices of all this equipment, it'll total to about $490 before tax and shipping. And while it's a good deal, it's important to note that you will need a PC or a laptop to fully utilize it. However, if you want to start making YouTube videos, begin streaming, or simply just want a solid gaming setup, this equipment will be perfect for you, especially if you're new to the scene. And the best part is that there's always room to upgrade and add more to it. And before we wrap it up, it's worth noting that because the equipment is from Amazon, the prices are always subject to change and certain products may run low on stock depending on the time and date. So if you're interested in any of these items, I highly recommend getting them as soon as possible before the prices or stock changes for the worst. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, is so drop a like and subscribe if you want me to make another setup video like this one or possibly a PC build if you're without one. And if you have any feedback or suggestions for the setup, feel free to leave them in the comments down below as I want to hear what you guys have to say and because I do love responding to everyone's comments. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and be sure to have notifications on so you won't miss my next video. My name's Prada J and as always, stay classy.